Check out more cool videos at thecutup.net. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash thecutup. Okay, everyone. Places. Places. Oops. Action. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's Xbox Live Arcade Game Cut. We have Dungeons and Dragons Daggerdale. Definitely sounds like a Denim Dan Southern nickname for somebody. Hey, I'm Dagger Dale. I got tons of daggers. Okay, we're just going to jump into the single player here. Uh, create a character. Let's see what we got. Human Fighter. Elven Rogue. And we can't play as the other ones. Was, I'm assuming, according to my nerd encyclopedia in my head, that would be a halfling on the left there and a dwarf on the right. So, uh... I'm usually more at home with a warrior or regular fighter, so I'll just pick this guy for posterity's sake. Oh, and then we get to pick our name. Myrol Tarmikos. And we'll just go with that. Sounds good. Uh, and from here we have three points that we can put into different things. See what else we got. Nothing else is open at the moment. A knee breaker. Battle stance. And I don't know if he comes with a shield. Yeah, looks like he does, so we'll just do a shield dash. One of each. Why not? We'll start the game. Once you have to leave the screen, not be able to undo your point assignment. That's fine. So from what I've heard of this game is the full game is only like three to four hours long. Um, but it's meant to be played online with people. So that might be part of it. In the heart of Dagadale. Deep within the ancient dwarven mines of Tethyamar. A great tower has been constructed. Its sinister existence has remained a secret until now. Its creator is an agent of evil known as. Resless. In the name of Bane, Dagdale will be mine. Will be mine. The other thing that sucks is uh, this week the PSN is still down, and I know a lot of people are looking forward to this game. You can still get it on the Xbox, but people on the PSN are going to have to wait probably another few weeks till it comes back. Heroes, you have been summoned here to defeat Resless, a powerful Zentarum and loyal servant of Bane, the Lord of Darkness. Resless is amassing an army to conquer Dagadale. To this aim, he has constructed the Tower of the Void at the heart of this mine. Find the tower entrance. Scale its height and face its perils until you find Resless himself. My journey must end here, for my ties to the Dark Zentarum would place you in further danger. Please forgive me for forcing the hand of fate. The destiny of your homeland rests upon your courage and determination. As it always does. For some reason, any time you play as a main character in a game, it all comes down to you. I wonder why that is. Okay, here I am. So, this game is actually a uh, action RPG. So anybody who's used to playing uh, Boulder's Gate or Diablo, that kind of thing, um, you're definitely going to probably uh, recognize the way things are set up in this. I want to say that this is coming out on PC too, so PC players might do better to uh, get it there. Oh man, I don't know if this is coming through on the video or anything, but there's 
Kind of a strange frame rate issue and a little bit of screen tearing, which I'm not too happy about. Stand in front of something and push Y. What did it say? Ah, the lever. Everything's so brown I couldn't see it. Press A to perform melee attack. And button mash to do a combo. Right up my alley. Boom. Mm -hmm. The character models are kind of rough. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh. Mm. Alright, let's go down and check out the quest. Let's see what we got in the... Before that, let's see what we got in the menus here. Okay, regular stuff in the pause menu. No, no, no. Go back. And... Okay, yep, here's your upgrading. And inventory. So, here we have our equipment. So you can see that we have a short sword, a hand axe, and a light speed. And it looks like you can equip two different weapons. It looks like this one is my ranged hand axe. And that one is the short sword that I use for melee. Cloth armor. So yeah, this game is really going to appeal to you dungeon crawlers out there. This this game definitely looks like it's going to be kind of a loot hog. Apparently I have two points to spend in this too. Something called feats. See, this is where it gets really exciting in the game cut, where you watch me try to <laughs> distribute upgrade points. Uh, we'll go for toughness, because who doesn't like to be tough and take more damage? And... And you gain a plus one bonus to damage rolls when you hit. Okay, why not? Let's do that. There's a lot of other ones here. When you make melee basic attack. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I, normally I would read through all these and see what I want to put them in, but as of right now, I don't think I'm going to go through everything as thoroughly as I normally would, just to keep it brief here. And to keep you guys interested. So this game to me definitely feels like a game that I would play online with people. I would love to play this with like uh, two or three other people and go through it. But uh, this game seems pretty boring to play single player. Push those burning barrels! You push them! Okay. Make quick work of those guys. Instinctual habit just to <laughs> break every barrel no matter what, even if it is a demo and I'll never play this again. Arg, I'm fine. Another, oh, there's a 
chest. Potion of healing. Definitely need those. Press B to use a health potion. I'll kill you with just range. Take that. It looks like those ranged are pretty much unlimited. I can throw as many axes as I want at you. So yeah, something about goblins taking this and that and the other thing. Blah, blah, blah. And I completed the quest. This guy's over here now. Oh, and now we have a merchant where I can buy stuff. And yeah, that's not any better than my short sword. Meh. See ya. Please pardon the clutter. We're almost through that wall in the back there. Okay, so head to the back and do stuff. So I already talked to this guy, so talk to him again, find out what he can do. Done. The one thing I do like about this game, though, is the, the automatic naming system that they gave you at the front there. They came up with a pretty good name for the character. Otherwise, this looks like a PS2 game. And I mean, you can't expect amazing graphics from every downloadable title. But, uh, maybe something a little bit more current looking. This looks like a launch title for the PS2. That was where I wanted to go that way. Now, great. Now I can't go back. Awesome. I assume that's how they always want you to react when you see that happening. <laughs> that was a, a potion of buff of something. But I couldn't use it yet anyway. So yeah, I'm not doing much of anything here fighting these guys. I'm just, I am literally just butt mashing. And for some people that might be a ton of fun. Yeah, I, I definitely feel that way when I'm really tired or drunk and just kind of want to jump through something quick, but... Goblins are a nasty bunch, but I think there's something else in these caves. But yeah, butt mashing works for when you're really be feeling really lazy or bored or drunk or something, but... For a typical game, when, like, when you're sitting there ready to, raring to go in a new game, you, not for me anymore. Definitely not. And I hold a special place in my heart for the, the Boulder's Gate games on the PC and on last generation on PlayStation 2 and GameCube, but I, don't know, I feel like I've grown up. Then again, that could just be the uh, part of me that's waiting for Diablo 3 to come out. Sometime soon, please. Aw, oh, crap. Ugh. 
Oh, you jerk. No health regeneration either. It's kind of refreshing to see. I, I always like uh, health regen, but... Oh, and it's not an instant potion either. It was uh, climbing up as I took it. They keep giving me weapons I can't use. Or things I can't use, I should say. Like that potion, and they just gave me that quarter staff. But I mean, really, what does that do? I got a cracked helmet. So I should be able to put that on, right? don't know if I can... There we go. Equipment. Okay. Fair sword. There's the hand axe. Light shield. What the hell is this? The the Copish? It's got fast attack speed. And it's a little better. So, I'll pop it on. Why not? And... That's it. So the helm I picked up must have been auto-equipped. Which leads me to another one of my pet peeves with dungeon crawler games is I do not like when you get new equipment and you can't actually see it on the character. I know for uh, pos posterity's sake they want you to see the character's face that they've designed and... Oh no! Oh and that's where the... that's where the demo ends. Well, judging from that I mean it, it, it seems fun. Uh, and it's got four player co-op online so that's cool but as a $15 game jeez that's kind of steep $10 I would have said you know go for it but at $15 are you kidding me $15 for that and for what I hear it's only a three, three or four hour game uh, I, I, I would rather just go back and play the Boulder's Gate games if you got a backwards compatible uh, 360 or PS3, just pick up cheap copies of those. Boulder's Gate 1 and 2. Uh, Dark Alliance, I think it was called. Play those. Because uh, this uh, doesn't look any better, to be honest. I, I would say Boulder's Gate 2 Dark Alliance looked, uh, looked way better. At least in my... <laughs> memories could be fuzzy, but that's that's how I feel about it. Anyway, yeah, I, I would definitely pass on this. If there's a sale on it, I probably wouldn't wait. Or I, I would probably wait until it's half off. Um, maybe $10 I would swing it. But definitely not for 15 So definitely a pass on this. Daggerdale. Daggerdale! Alright, guys, that's a wrap. Oops.